Hey everyone, this is Techie Pride. Just a quick update. I went and finally got around to doing the um, next round of testing for the HHO system. Uh, basically, what I've what I've decided to do, I've done the control, so I've run um, highway, town, and uh, and uh, horsepower tests. Uh, did the control, so no HHO. Uh, no computer chip. Today I ran the ran the exact same tests, all the controls, which I'll go over in later videos. In the same um, same tests uh, with the HHO system installed, running somewhere with an output between a half and a liter of hydrogen per minute. Um, it has been a little hard to establish, um, but yeah, so so I ran the tests, so no chip, plenty of hydrogen in the engine, and essentially the same results. I haven't compared the means or the averages yet from all the tests, but it looks basically the same. Um, same horsepower peaks, um, the same same highway uh, MPG. I haven't done the town yet. That's that's tomorrow night, but so far everything looks pretty much the same. Which is actually congruent with dominant HHO theory, which is that the presence of hydrogen in the engine um, actually causes the car to compensate. Uh, the car's computer freaks out uh, because of a different level of uh, CO2 coming out of the tailpipe and uh, ri enriches, en enriches, enriches the mixture. So it just dumps in more gas to compensate. So you put your hydrogen in there trying to save gas. The computer doesn't know what to do, so it dumps in more gas to even things out with the exhaust system. And so you actually end up getting the exact same mile per gallon, and you're using so you're using the same amount of gas. So it's more gas burning more efficiently, so it basically is the same. Um, and this was what happened on Mythbusters. So Mythbusters did this. And they took a can of, or well, not a can, a highly compressed container of pure hydrogen gas, pumped it in the engine, and ran all those mile per gallon tests, blah, 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 and saw no difference. Um, they didn't use a chip, though. And so in response to this, the HHO community said, well, you need a chip because the computer is freaking out, and you got to compensate, use a chip to compensate for the computer compensating for your hydrogen. So, uh, so essentially, my findings today, which that there's no difference between driving with no hydrogen or HHO present and driving with with the hydrogen or HHO present without a chip, there's no difference, right? So far as my results can tell me, um, and and this is congruent with with theory. I I actually should not have seen a difference. Uh, maybe a slight difference, but. Um, slightly more savings but um, anyway later videos I'll go over all the controls and all the numbers and show you the graphs and blah 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 professional APA style all that crap um, but for now I just figured since I hadn't posted in a while and just um, I just throw this up there for people um, the results should be coming by the end of the week um, and the reason it took so long to get these results in the first place is that last semester was my first semester of grad school. So um, there was negative amount of time for testing HHO systems. So um, I took a break. Now I'm on winter break um, and it's ending in a week. So I better, um, I better actually have this done in a week. So that's going to be my goal. So you should be seeing a full, um, a full assessment with all the numbers and all the data probably by the end of this week. Um, it'll it'll be tested by the end of this week at least. Um, might take another week to get it up, but we'll see. All right, so that's Techie Pride with the update. Um, just letting you know that um, just having a hydrogen cell in your engine, as far as my data can tell me, um, isn't going to do jack shit for your. <laughs> it's very scientific jack shit. It's not going to do anything uh, for your for your mile per gallon or horsepower for that matter. Um, so anyway, uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you soon with some real sciencey results.